This is 25 News at 10. If you're considering a new career, consider this. Illinois doesn't have enough mental or behavioral health workers. Data shows the state needs three times more of them to meet the current need. Good Thursday evening. I'm Tyler Lopez. And I'm Amber Kriska. Thank you for joining us. Lizzie Stiles takes a look at how McLean County is handling the shortage on a government level and how a recent grant could play a key role. Tyler Amber, McLean County started putting a magnifying glass to mental health in the community in 2014. And while they've made some progress, an official with the department tells me the COVID pandemic put an extra strain on hiring and retaining staff. Due to the nature of the work, there's there's um, often you know, chronic burnout in these positions. Things that we were worried about uh, well in advance of COVID have now intensified to some degree. While McLean County is trying to recruit behavioral health professionals to live and work in the area, they aren't alone in the struggle, and it might be getting worse. Data from the Behavioral Health and Economics Network shows a current shortage in mental health workers nationwide may grow in 2025, with a shortfall of a quarter million full-time positions. Right now in Illinois, there are only around 14 workers for every 10,000 residents. For the areas that have this type of help at all. The group behind the study recommends more funding for mental health programs and higher wages for workers. McLean County is getting new resources for their kids and young adults in need of help. Director of the county's behavioral health coordination says they plan to use a $2 million grant to grow already existing programs. They also want to make sure they're finding the youth who need help. There is a significant percentage of youth who um, either aren't being identified or aren't uh, being provided uh, the level of services that we feel is adequate for youth within McLean County. McLean County will get that grant money over the next four years. They hope to reach hundreds more kids and young adults with serious emotional and mental illnesses.